Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am truly excited. Can't you tell by the sound in my voice? That's because we are going over the Wing Lovers Ultimate Chicken Wing Recipe, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star. And again, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I have just recently reached 9,000 subscribers, y'all. 9,000 family members. Because y'all are my family, and I really appreciate y'all. Yes, Chicken Wing 101. What we want to discover is where the joints are. And once we find out where those joints are, we want to go right in between. We don't want the bone fragments to break off and potentially feed someone with it, feed ourselves with it. We don't want that. And we don't want our knife to chip either. So we want to look similar to what we have here, right in between the gristle where they meet, y'all. And now that we have found out where the drum end and the flat meet, let's see where the flat and the tippy tip meet, y'all. Now that we found it, let's go ahead and reposition our hands and make sure we hold the knife the proper way. Index finger is not on the top of the knife. No, no, no. I've done a few videos on how to hold a knife or in the videos I've done, I do go over the proper technique of how to hold a knife, y'all. How do you like your wings? Do you like flats only? Drumettes only? Do you like your wing whole? Because right now I'm cutting these wings in two ways and all the tips are going, yeah, flats, drumettes, and then you have the flat and drumette connection, y'all. So I'm putting some chicken base in here. That was about half a tablespoon of chicken base, and you want to mix that in well. You want to make sure that chicken base is touching every aspect of the product that's in there. So you want to make sure that your wings are coated in the base, y'all. Add whatever flavor agents you want, y'all. That's paprika. That's Montreal chicken seasoning. I have some Tony Satchery onion powder garlic powder too as well y'all that we are going to mix up and mix it well that we have that chicken base incorporated in there too take a look at it y'all we getting somewhere y'all now let's sear these wings what yeah we gonna sear them in butter before we bake them yeah that is a good way to go have you ever done that before have you ever taken your skillet and seared your wings in butter before you bake them. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that they are crispy. I'm going to have some extra crispy for myself and I'm going to have the traditional style for my wife, y'all. Take a look at what that cast iron skill is able to do. Y'all, if you don't have a cast iron, invest in one. It's worth it. The cast iron skill is actually healthy for you. It gives you iron and I need iron, y'all. But let me ask you, do you have a favorite sauce or not you just you you able to rock any type of sauce if you're able to rock any type of sauce i feel that if you have a favorite type of sauce i feel that too y'all so we're gonna reposition these wings and get them ready to be placed on a sheet tray and then we're gonna bake these wings y'all right regular or crispy again regular or crispy i like mine crispy when baked y'all i don't like them dry though i know y'all don't like them dry either right so we're going to bake them, 375 convection, 20 minutes. Now, ooh-wee, look at that buffalo sauce, y'all. We're going to get it going, get these wings tossed up. And y'all, hold on, because let's go over buffalo sauce. Let's learn how to make our own buffalo sauce. Look at that. Ooh-wee, that look good there. Oh, yes, we are rocking and we are rolling, aren't we, y'all? Yes, we working on our lemon pepper. Oh, yeah, we made that lemon pepper sauce. So we're going to go over two types of sauce, y'all. Yes, we're going to go over how to make a buffalo sauce yourself and how to make a lemon pepper sauce yourself. Why not do it in this video? Why save it for another video? I'm not going to waste your time like that. Barbecue sauce, that you can make yourself too. But I just bought some good commercial barbecue sauce. If you want me to show you how to make a barbecue sauce, I can show you that because I do plan on smoking some meat soon, y'all. But let's make this buffalo sauce, y'all. Y'all ready? Now, what you see in front of you is a bottle of special sauce that I make. It's hot sauce that I make from scratch. And this bottle of hot sauce has actually been aged 
for three years, y'all. Mm hmm. That is how long that bottle has aged. Yes, y'all. Mix it up well. Mix whatever hot sauce you have up well. You don't have to go off to the store and buy all those commercial brands. No, make it yourself. I'm using paprika. Paprika is a wonderful, wonderful color agent. And paprika doesn't have all the extra flavor and taste that you don't like. Just look at that there. Look at that there. Oh, man. I really believe, and I, from the bottom of my heart, you can make this sauce. You can make this sauce at home. Think about a buffalo chicken sandwich. Ooh, wait. I should do that. Y'all, one more stick of butter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, yes, 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 zest, zest, zest. Now, when you zest a lemon, make sure that it, there is still a hue of yellow. Yes, I said a hue or a tinge of yellow left on that peel. You don't all that rind, actually. You don't want to zest all the way down to the white. That is where it's bitter. So take your time and zest, zest, zest. And watch your fingers and watch the palm of your hand. Tuck your fingers the best way you can. And we can use our hand as a strainer. If you don't have a strainer handy, you can use your hand as a strainer and catch all those seeds right there and squeeze, squeeze, get everything out of that lemon. I'm not dropping the lemon peel in there because I just zested the lemon. I don't want that bitter. And I have this butter. Before I squeezed the lemon juice in it, it was on the stove on low, first high heat, and then I cut it down to low heat and I let it simmer. So the butter can brown a little bit and it adds a nutty flavor to it. And I mean, it sets it off. Then you add your black pepper according to how you want to add your black pepper. I added black pepper in dose after dose, dose after dose. And then I met the standard of how I wanted it to taste. And it tastes phenomenal. <laughs> it, phenomenal. This is something we all can do, y'all. We all can do this right here. And that's what I'm all about, y'all. And if you feel like there's something I miss, please let us know so we can add it to the playlist. Drop a comment. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side. And that's what it's all about. I'm trying to be in your up next section. I'm trying to be in your browser. I'm not trying to be nosy, but I'm trying to be there. And I'm trying to inform. I'm trying to educate and let people know these things you can do at home yourself. If you want to see me make something, let me know, y'all, because that's what it's all about. I'm not selfish. I'm not stingy. I pay attention to the comments, y'all. I really, really do. And I appreciate y'all for being here with me, y'all. 9,000 subscribers is not a lot to some people, but I see 9,000 fellow family members. That's what I see. And again, thank y'all. Thank y'all.